Hi, this is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking again, and I see how good I'm catching up. I'm into March now for the subscription layouts, and I'm going to do these two with a little bit of change to the first one, but I don't think I do anything different to the second. So that's just, and you you can, you can add stuff to it, but I'm just going to do just a little bit of a change. So I'm separating layout one from layout two, and these are the stickers. And then I'm separating the die cuts from layout one from layout two. And just to make things so that they're less confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and pop out the die cuts. I kind of use the stickers as I need to, but I go ahead and get the die cuts out um, just to, you know, kind of make things a little bit less complicated. Um, and I left some things on the inside of the bag here. So you get the page protectors, of course. Um, so I'll set those to the side. Certainly don't need them quite yet. So I'm just kind of separating the pieces that go with layout two and layout one. And here we go. So here's the two, two pages. So you want to match up and make sure you have them going in the right direction. And uh, that long, you could write a story there. Um, if you didn't want to write a story, you could put a picture in a small bit of journaling if you wanted to. So I'm just sorting, um, kind of doing a dry run of putting which pieces go with which page. So we have two different kinds of, of rainbows, it looks like. So we're going to have a nice big 5x7 going on this page. So, and once again on these, um, the subscriptions seem to have pages that are more, uh, can go kind of almost any direction you want them to go. They're real versatile, I guess I should say, using grown-up words. They're very versatile layouts with you know, colors that uh, can go with a lot of different colors. And uh, so not quite neutral, but but close to it. Enough that, uh, you know, there's a lot of different um, styles of pictures that you could put with these. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the little journaling part and the little rainbow there. And our cute little flower bouquet is going to also go with the journal. Got a hiccup there. Um, I love how the colors go so nicely with all of the background colors of the page. And, you know, just having all of those pieces printed on the page just makes it so much faster. So, uh, really, you could do this. I used to do it. <laughs> I don't know why I've gotten slower, but I used to do it in about 30 minutes. Um, it's taking me a little bit longer, so I'm speeding up my videos. Uh, and I just attribute it to, uh, stopping and smelling the roses too much, having too much of a hard time making decisions. So what I did was I got a couple of distress colors, distress oxides that I thought might go with this paper. And I decided what I would do would be to put a little shaded background because I really like the way that looks. And I've just done the um, in full bloom card making that use this technique behind a butterfly. And I love this technique. It's just like super, super simple, super fun to do. It's like a no brainer. And it adds just a little bit of a dimension, kind of a shadowing effect to whatever you put in the foreground. So I kind of, I have to tell you, I like it. Now, I'm using a piece of scrap paper along with the um, post-it note strip um, because when I fill the brush with some ink, I want to go on the scrap paper first so you don't get a dark blob like I did up at the top. Even though I did the, put it on the scrap paper first, there was quite a bit of ink on the uh, brush. So the title... Um, is collect beautiful moments. And so the beautiful moments just runs pretty much the full length of 
the paper. So I'm just going, going ahead and putting it down. I'm eyeballing it completely um, and just putting it a, a scooch up from the uh, strip to the left of the strip, I guess I should say. And I'm tucking these letters behind the flowers because I put the flowers apparently a little bit too into the uh, title area. So it's kind of nice that the title is a sticker because with this font, with the broad and the narrow um, legs on the uh, letters, it would be kind of uh, a little tough to, to put adhesive on. So I am grateful for the stickers. Yay. So I'm just kind of keeping the spacing is... I'm just kind of eyeballing it and keeping it, I think, somewhat consistent. And it just so happens that the letters work out just right. And look, the S goes over the big, bigger, darker blob. Yay. <laughs> and here is the uh, cursive second part of the title, and it's collect. So we're collecting beautiful memories. So I'm just taking the centers of the L's and the O and the E out. There we go. And kind of putting it towards, towards the center. So very neat, right? And I like the shadow. I like the shadow behind it. So if you feel like there's too much, see, there's another. That's what embellishments are for. Embellishments cover your boo-boos. Just remember that because we all make boo-boos. So, um, you know, if there's like maybe too much white for you and you want to, you know, just kind of take some of the whiteness away, then what a good idea to just use a little bit of shadowy color there. So you still have the blank slate, but you've got a little added dimension of color there. So I, I really like the idea. So this, this side gets one three by four right there. And then we've got three by threes. So we've got a stack of three, three by threes. Now, like I said, that um, big tome on the right, if you didn't want to write a whole bunch, you could put a picture there and just kind of take up a little space, just up to you. So I'm just putting the double stick foam adhesive on the bottom of the rainbow. I'm gonna take that little smudge off of there because I don't want it to be going onto the picture. So I can put the picture behind it. So I'm just gonna have the rainbow stand up a little bit. And see, it really doesn't need that top piece. So, and this piece is going to go, I'm going to put a foam strip on it to raise it up a little bit, and I'm going to run it over my any static pouch just to take some of the stick them away so it doesn't stick to the picture or get in the way when I'm trying to put a picture underneath there. And I'm just going to add the little hearts. Actually, a bigger heart went there, uh, but that's okay. You know, totally okay. So it's always a good idea to just kind of figure out what goes where first before you start sticking stuff down. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the um, journaling part. And then I'm going like two white squares down from the gingham with a little bit of the white squares showing, pretty much eyeballing. And the little hearts are going to go up there and then the other little scallop to kind of copy the other side. You want to, you know, when you're doing a two-page thing or something that, you know, is really big with a right and a left side, you kind of want to have some redundancy of pattern so that there's some, you know, connectivity between one side and the other. So we have our happy, 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 and then I'm putting 
a little flower here, and a heart. And then that little flower is going to go, the little sticker is going to go there. And a little tiny heart is going to go there, a little pink heart. So let's go ahead and stick that little flower down, pop them up, get a little bit more dimension down there in the corner. So we have these hearts left, so we want to find out where they go. So there we go. A little blue and a white heart, and then the um, darker orange hearts are going to go on the first page there and there. See, I completely missed those the um, when I was first doing page one. So here we've got, now I love the colors. But you know, oranges and blues are opposite. I think they're opposite the color wheel from each other. So they're complementary and they just go absolutely beautifully together. So, you know, if you are wondering which colors to go, you know, you can look at your color wheel and, you know, look opposite and, uh, you know, pick out to help you pick out colors. You know, we also have a, a how-to book on um, color combinations that look good together for those of us who are uh, color compromised. <laughs> and, you know, we're not too sure what colors go. So, you know, I have, um, it's in for sale in our how-to books on my close, uh, Dorothy, close to my heart com website. Um, so just look up how to, and, you know, we've got some great books for, you know, how to do scrapbook layouts and how to do card layouts, how to, how to write short stories with, uh, using journaling and pictures, all sorts of great. We even have, uh, a penmanship, uh, Melissa Ep Eplin penmanship with, uh, calligraphy pens. We have all sorts of stuff really cool stuff. So um, I'm just going ahead and I'm putting the denim strip of paper there and then we've got this nice green. It's a perfect color green to go with the blues and the uh, kind of orangey colors. I, it's great combination, right? I mean you have to you have to say it's a just great colors together. So it just makes everything flow. And, you know, would I do a great job of that if left on my, you know, to my own devices? No, probably not. I mean, honestly, um, you know, a lot of people say I don't do scrapbooking because I'm not artistic. Well, you know, guess what? I'm not artistic. I'm just not. My sister, my cousin, they got all those genes in the family. I got nothing. So um, this is what I do. And it makes me, it makes me feel, you know, like I can create nice things. And it's not quite as uh, easy as paint by number, but anyway, there you go. Okay, so I'm just putting the little yay and stars, just all these little embellishments to just kind of add some interest. And because any people in our family that were shooting with the camera are stars, right? So we've got all these cute little arrows and stars and uh, banners just to make, you know, it doesn't take much. Look at those little tiny stars. It doesn't take much to add some interest. So these little chevrons, you know, super easy. I don't want it to be glued on to where the picture is going to be. So I'm going to leave the ends sticky and take the stickum off of the center part so I can slide the picture up under there. Look, those tiny little stars and they make a difference. So here we have the string. So this kind of reminds me of the the silver string that I put down on the last on the uh, February where I thought, well, they don't have a string hanging the banners, so let me just make a string. And I pulled out my silver thread. So they had the string printed on this. I like that. <laughs> a 
Although I did like using my silver, my silver thread. Okay, so the dry run, the reason why you do a dry run is so that you get your, your placement of your pieces so that they're kind of even. And uh, I didn't exactly do a good job of that. Now I've got to scooch this one over just a tad. And once again, it looks like there's some little smidge that could be covered with some glitter glitter gems if wanted. <clears throat> now, I, this is kind of similar to the other page. Uh, this is for three by two, three by four pictures and with a little bit of journaling at the bottom. So, very good. And then we have a four by six that's going to go on a white back, backdrop. You know, with all this white, you really don't need the white placement. You know, put your photo here things. You could just leave leave it open, but I just do it for for my own memory. Okay, so we're going to put our green strip down and we're almost finished. And um, so if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and ring the bell because I will be doing other videos. I do quite a few videos. You know, I'm putting the kits together, showing you how they're done. Um, for those of us who don't like to read instructions and would rather watch somebody do it. Um, or you could do it with me. You know, there are, there are people that sign up and subscribe to me that work, work, do their kits with me. And so, and then you can watch it if there's something you miss, you can rewind and, and watch it over again. So even though I speed it up, you can kind of get an idea. Sometimes my, I look at my speed it up and I think, that's kind of like regular speed for most people. But, okay, so now I'm putting the title on here. And look at this cute font. I love this font. It's very uh, youthful, playful, and I'm just eyeballing. And if the letters are a little crooked, it kind of goes with the font. So don't even worry about it. And I'm just kind of lining up the letters so that they're not too far apart. Um, very close to the bottom edge of the, of the green. And that E is going to have to get moved over because I kind of ran out of room. There we go. Yay. Yay. Perfect. Yay from my camera. So, very cute. I, I tell you, I really like the subscription, and it's easy to order these on my website, and it's even easier to do, put these pages together. It's just really, really simple to do. The, the instructions are like just a few sentences, and all you have to really do is look at the picture or watch my videos. That would be even better. So anyway, thank you for... Uh, watching my videos and for subscribing if you've subscribed already and um, I love having you come back and here's our new pages thanks for watching okay I really do like that shadowing behind the beautiful moments yeah and don't forget shop with me at dorothy.closetomyheart.com see you bye hi I'm Dorothy Smith Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.